this uh, long ball again kind of comes through for you guys. Kellen with the big three run shot to get you back in the game, and then lo and behold, a couple more to, to save it for you. You know, I think uh, the long balls were huge. The walks in front of the long balls, the really good at bats to extend innings and keep guys out there and put pressure on them. And and then we were able to get some big swings. We weren't able to get them early. We struggled a little bit early with runners out there. And um, but man, the, the walk by LT late. I mean, that's a that's a huge at bat. Um, and then you know the home runs are huge. I mean, we, we do hit a lot of home runs. We got some physical guys, but and having guys out there and hitting home runs it makes a big difference. That game looked a lot like some of those games last year where you know you might not have been able to produce a lot of runs early and then late in the game, it just seems like y'all were able to get some big at-bats. Is that kind of the you know, maturity of this offense over the last few well, weeks, you think? Well, it's a maturity of the offense. I'm just hoping it's a maturity of our ball club that a Brooks Auger gets to run out there and, and pitch in that environment and, and pitches good. And Hunter Hines gets a big hit late. And, and some of these kids learn how to play that Mississippi State way because a lot of them are new. And for us this year, we haven't, we haven't had a lot of that. So um, having a win like that, having the – you know, I, I told him after the game, I always say you get, if you get hits, the crowd will get involved. And, and the dude effect was in, I mean, it was in real effect tonight, especially there late. And it's hard for another team to come in and close you out here. And, and they have to make really good pitches and make plays. And uh, we were able to take advantage of that tonight. You mentioned Brooks, too. Again, another good outing for him. A lot of emotion from him, too, after that last punch out there. Yeah. That's not really a lot we've seen from him. But uh, how pleased were you with, were you with he tonight? Big. He, it's, you can just see him getting better by every game. I mean, just every game he's gotten a little more comfortable, I guess is the word, and, and competitive. You know, early in the year I think he just was a little nervous getting out there, and now he's starting to really get comfortable in those moments. So uh, he was really good. Talk about, you know, playing in this environment. Hunter goes up there and, you know, as a freshman, you know, he seems to impress every time he goes up there. What does it mean to kind of see him in that situation come over the three hits? Well, the one, you know, he's, he's a freshman in a lot of ways, um, especially base running, but he is um, – He's a very mature hitter, and he's very competitive. Like it's, he, the problem is he don't think he should ever get out. Like he just has that about him. So he doesn't. When he steps in the box, he's not nervous or anything like that. He is, you know, he's just he's just really good. And when he steps inside the box, but um, you know, it's just a competitive kid. It reminds me of a lot of these kids we just had graduate. Just he's just not scared of anything. Speaking of not being scared of, are you scared to talk to RJ these days? Maybe the, you know, you'll. Jinx him or say something to get him off his game. So all of a sudden he's maybe the hottest guy on the team. Yeah. Well, he's he's hot. He definitely is hot. He's a good player though. That's what kind of hurt us early is he wasn't playing well early, you know, and and then got in a rotation and he's a good player. Like he's played well his whole career and he's played over 200 college baseball games. So having a kid with that maturity and and been around that long is huge for us. And then he's and then on top of it he's hot. And man, what a what a ball he hit there in the at the end. I mean that was a really good pitch and hit it out off of it shows you how talented he is. Preston might not have had his best stuff and you know, had guys on the base. And last week was kind of the same way, but he just battled through it. What did you kind of take away from what he was able to do tonight? He does battle. He's one of our best pitchers with uh, runners on base. He, can, he really competes, but he's got to do a better job of being more efficient, being ready to attack leadoff hitters and have good warm-up pitches between innings because you know, we need him to pitch longer. You know, I need him to pitch. You know, I stretched him a little bit tonight just to get him to the six. He's got to, he's got to give us a better outing on Friday nights. His, his stuff is really good. Um, he, and usually when they score on him, it's a leadoff walk or something like that. And, and you know, he needs to cut those out. Speaking of that, it seemed like I think they got the leadoff guy on for the first five innings. And he was, it seemed like he was missing up too. Yeah. They were able to. Sometimes it just takes him a while to settle in. I, I don't know what it is, but sometimes he'll. It, it, and then his last couple innings are great. You know, it's once he once he settles in. But the, the first couple, he's got to get better there. Didn't have to overuse your guys at the bullpen too. You feel pretty good about what you got the rest of the week too. I do. I mean, I always wish I had more bullpen, um, but you know, we didn't have to pitch too much. I mean, that's we, we kind of tried to match. They they have some big splits in there, so we're trying to match with them a little bit. Um, and we'll be fresh for tomorrow. All those guys can come back and pitch tomorrow. Maybe not Cam, but uh, Brandon and Brooks can. Cameron Jake's been at the double for your late. For a guy who's had some defensive struggles, how much longer is that going to be? I think it's huge. I mean, I. <laughs> I love to see him play with that emotion. You know, you can just tell, and that the boy lit up the ballpark when he made that play. So um, it was that was a huge play in the nice game. Your biggest crowd of the week, our biggest crowd since that opening weekend. How how did that affect the guys tonight? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, once we started playing and getting hits, it was a lot of fun. So uh, you know, th that's why these kids come here. They want to play in front of that. They want to play, you know, in those environments. And R.J. Yeager, I mean, he'll remember that night for the rest of his life of, of hitting that ball and. And, and with the crowd that you have. And I, I even see Hunter Hines. I mean, he came in after his ball. You probably never had a ball in, in 
that type of moment in his life. So it's a uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's um, you know you don't take it for granted because man, our, our fans come from and they come from everywhere. So it's it's a uh, it's a fun fan base to play in front of. You mentioned last year's team so tough down the stretch. You had to fight them for all twenty seven outs. It feels like there's some resiliency now, kind of developing with this group. Are you seeing that? Maybe that toughness no, is turning over. That was the best thing about tonight is is we're learning it, right? We're learning it as a team. And some kids like Luke Hancock knows what it feels like. But this group, this this these kids on this journey, they're starting to figure out how to win and how to play and what SEC baseball is all about, you know. And and, and so a lot of them are new, so it's a uh, it's fun to watch and it's a big win for us because it it reinforces a lot of that. Even in the middle of the game, I pulled them up like. This game's far from being over. You know, you you got to keep playing in SEC baseball. You never know what's going to happen. And tonight, you never knew what was going to happen. I mean, it just you know went our way late. Cam Tuller almost got out of this that inning when he gave up the, the hit with two outs, and then he came back the next inning and pitched well. And the next inning, gave you a chance to. Did you like what you saw from him? I did in the second and the third inning. I mean, he's got to be better when he comes out there. We just you know I think tonight they get they got three or four runs on leadoff walks or leadoff HPPs and. Um, I think two HPP scored and two walks maybe scored tonight. Like, you know, and I give them credit when they get hits, it's fine. They can get hits, but we got to make them make them earn everything. And it happened on our side too. We had some walks and stuff, and got a big hit behind it.